Dear ladies and gentlemen, my name is John Kettler, and together with my team, we have developed the VirtuHub Atomondo. It's our mission to support the nuclear community in discussion with our international partners from US, from UK, from France, South Korea, Belgium. We see that there is a need for a central spot of exchange, for a, a hub for networking, for communicating, and uh, to uh, show the newest development in the field of the nuclear community. You can use this hub for your own mission. For example, if you want to use it for your own workshops, for your own uh, trainings or conferences, or even you can join our conferences that we perform here. You have the opportunity to present your products and services, to inform about or report about your projects, and people can access really easy. We take into account also general data protection issues and compliance regulations. So this hub is a new way of communication uh, in our mission to digitize nuclear community and to support a CO2 reduction. Uh, so let's have a walk through and uh, have a look what opportunities are there. We will have as a kickoff meeting we will have here the DECAN event. DECAN uh, is an international conference on nuclear decommissioning, which will take place on our hub from the 16th to 19th November this year. We perform this event together with our partners Capco, ENC and CARP from South Korea. And therefore, I would like to use it now and to walk with you once through. If you enter here the, um, the virtual venue, which is a former nuclear power plant transformed in a modern conference center, then you see here in the entrance hall, <coughs> you uh, have uh, here first uh, the information desk where you are. And from here you uh, reach all the other rooms. So it's a central point from where you can move everywhere on the hub. Yeah? And uh, you see in behind, you see uh, uh, the logos of our sponsors. When you click on them, you go directly to their booth. We will see that later. Furthermore, we have here uh, as a first kind of information, uh, this desk. If I click on that, you will see there is a program list, participant list. When there is a conference, Hi, the, welcome uh, to the hub. there is an exhibitor list. If you click on that, you reach directly the the uh, booths of the companies and you can uh, listen to uh, um, yeah to the organizers of the conference which, which will give you information you could also have here information presenting your event yeah so introduction to your participants yeah uh, i will skip it here at this time and move forward <clears throat> furthermore at the information desk you could also reach um, contact person from our team or organization team so there will be a video call available, live chat, email uh, functionality, everything what you want. Yeah, We have also the possibility to have here a feedback box so that you can collect feedback from your audience, from your participants, so that they can give advice for further events. And what's important, if you see on the back end, there are always uh, terminals. We use these terminals also in the way of gamification. We will have here a technical quiz. So people, uh, attendances will, who join this quiz will be enforced to, to um, be interactive here on the platform. And it will be also a little bit fun for them so that they'll be attracted to continuously be here on site and be integrated. Yeah. I would now like to, to move on and I will go to the reactorium. The reactorium here is our um, place to uh, show um, what is available. Yeah, So we have here in the conference, for example, the media library. We have here a live program part. Live program part is, uh, for example, panel discussion, Q&A session. We have a young generation session with poster presentation. You will see later. We have a roadshow you will see with uh, uh, to the accompanying exhibition, so to visit all the booths there, the companies there. And in the media library, we have recorded content like presentations hey, or My interviews. Here, here in Hitler. our case, mm, we have here several uh, recorded interviews yeah, for the Deacon. 
Okay, let's move back to uh, the reactorium. Uh, in the reactorium, you have also the live part. Yeah, in the live part, as I said, here we use several integrations that you could use, whatever is convenient or uh, in on compliance with your regulation. So uh, if it is Zoom, Teams, uh, Google Meet, uh, um, Go to Meeting, Jitsi, whatever you need is possible to integrate here. We use in this case Zoom because Zoom has also the um, uh, function that we can uh, use uh, simultaneous translation channel. So here in our uh, Deacon conference, we have English, German and South Korean language available. Yeah, let's continue and let's go back. Mm, uh, I should also uh, say here, we decided to use the platform as a virtual hub in the way that we have this pseudo realistic graphics. Yeah, my uh, project partner here, uh, David will explain to you why we used this uh, way of uh, integration. Thank you, John, and welcome to our audience. The point you just mentioned was actually one of the first challenges our team was confronted with when developing the hub. How should the user navigate through our virtual environment in an attractive yet effective way? Typical solutions like Google Street View kind of implementation or a first-person, third-person avatar style that is, for example, known in the gaming industry, were not able to fulfill our requirements. And these are that you should be able to access our hub wherever you are crossover devices. Meaning that you should not just be able to use it on your high-performance office PC, but also on your home laptop, your tablet, or your smartphone while you're on the move with low data connection. The second issue is that our hub is not only the major platform for the nuclear community throughout the year, but it also serves as a place for regular occurring events like the Deacon Conference in November this year. And it is bookable for companies for company internal events like workshops or seminars. All these different series must be covered by the platform and that means it must be adaptable for new services, third-party applications, new graphics or locations or any other of our customer demands in a cost-effective way. And cost-effectiveness is the third major advantage of our solution. We are now able to offer our services, booths, sponsoring for a comparatively low investment to our customers and are even able to grant free access to the public outside of event times during the year so that we can generate a maximal visitor traffic for our clients. As a user, you are now able to navigate in an effective and intuitive way and visit all locations with just a few clicks on your laptop, your smartphone or any of your other devices. Okay, thank you very much, David, for this um, explanation. So you see, this is a big advantage for you. In this way, it is easy to use, it is fast, it's convenient and it's usable for a wide audience. Okay, let's continue. Another important part for us to support the young generation and the young generation has its own room. So we will enter now young generation room and here we have the possibility for uh, companies to present themselves. Yeah, uh, If they open a new position, if they look for new employers, uh, if they want to uh, be visible here for the wide audience. And we have here the chance for the young generation <coughs> that they can present themselves, that they can present their projects. Yeah, You see here at the back, back side of the room, uh, you see uh, some of our examples for the posters. Yeah, And during the event, uh, there is a live poster session, so uh, uh, students, PhD students can pitch and present their projects and their own um, experiences. If they are not available, it would be possible also to show recorded content. Yeah, My colleague David will explain it also here. You show how, how does it work? Well, actually the poster session in our young generation area is a very nice example for what is possible on our virtual hub. In contrary to a local poster event where you have to wait for poster owners to appear and to explain the project to you, here in this virtual environment, poster owners can upload additional content to their posters, like their CV or publication list. 
They can also integrate multimedia content like short video clips of experiments or simulations and pre-record a guided tour through that project so that you are able to um, have an idea about the project even in their rough sense. And this is very beneficial for both sides. Um, young potentials can uh, introduce themselves to the nuclear community and companies uh, can look out for uh, new uh, employees. Yeah, and as everywhere on our hub, it's very easy to contact the poster owner via chat, via email or video chat. Um, everything is integrated here. So yeah, a very nice example for uh, the functionality of the hub. And I would like to continue now and go back. Yeah, from young generation, we will go now in, uh, to another important uh, topic is for us to support our uh, partners, institutions and uh, uh, companies. Therefore, we have this exhibition here. In this accompanying exhibition, you see there are different booths available. So what we will have here, we will have during the live part moderated uh, road shows that go through it, uh, this um, exhibition. The exhibition will stay online <coughs> for the whole year. Yeah. So if you have booked a booth here, you will be visible uh, if you want for the whole year. Yeah. Here I give you an example with the booth of Xtrello. Yeah. <coughs> here you have Mr. Kim uh, on the booth. He is the avatar of this booth. We have uh, several um, uh, possibilities to present the content of your company. For example, you have the roll-up here, you have the uh, info brochures, documents. We have here a video a screen. I will explain later on the advanced booth, how it looks like in detail, only here short briefly. You could uh, have your own avatar here if somebody of your team would like to present. So you can use his or her uh, portrait photo uh, instead of Mr. Kim. And if we click on him again, we will have the um, possibility here to have a video call, to have a <coughs> live chat, email uh, conversation. Everything is possible. There are different styles like this one with Miss Lee yeah, in a rectangular way. We have um, a booth, a triangular booth here with Mr. Müller. It depends on your wish, what is your corporate identity, what is your corporate design. Uh, you can get from our side the templates used by your graphic designer to adapt it to your design. Yeah, Really easy, easy to map. Or even you send us your, uh, your graphics, your corporate colors or your um, logo and we brand it for you. It's no problem. We do everything in this way. Um, here I would like to also to mention that we have the larger booths, here's the advanced booth and I will go here a little bit more in detail because it offers some more um, uh, options to present. Um, <clears throat> as I said, before, I said before, here we have once uh, this um, part where you can present your documents, even if it is a PDF, is it uh, JPEGs, PPT, PowerPoint, everything also here possible. The participants can download it directly from this page. Yeah. We have uh, several options here made available. Furthermore, it may be interesting for you to present um, a short image video yeah, or a company video or a project report video. And this is another kind of possibility here that you can present multimedia content. Um, this could be streamed from your website or linked to your website and directly integrated here or from your YouTube channel. It depends uh, again what you want. We have uh, arranged several interfaces. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, what's also interesting here is we have this um, product placement table. Yeah. And this product placement table in this case here, you see. Uh, we have our booths uh, presented. If I click now on this booth in the middle here, then you see <coughs> now uh, there is a 3D uh, view of the um, booth. So if you have a model of your robot, of your machine, of your container, whatever you want to present, we can directly integrate it here <coughs> and so that it will be visible for the participants. By the way, similar to our standard booth, our advanced booths come in different shapes. You can actually choose from five different models in accordance with your corporate design. Concerning the product placement, 
the product table shown here on our demand booth is not the only option. Depending on your product, if it's a small machinery part, a medium-sized or even a large-sized auto machinery, if you are offering containers, robotics or electronics, or even computer programs or services to your customers, we will find a way to display your product in a convenient and attractive way. We therefore develop different display techniques, like for larger size pictures, our wall or stand display, or if you have smaller pictures of your product, we will put them in nice frames on our podium display. What is possible with 3D technique, John already explained. And if you have services, computer programs, or want to show your machinery in action, you can choose our monitor display. If all this didn't cover your taste, we will find a way together to display your product in a way of your liking. And if you even need more space, we are not just offering the standard and the advanced booth explained here, but we have also our so-called exclusive booth that is actually not a booth, but it is a whole company area just for you, with different sectors, a lot of advantages, branded and arranged in close correspondence with your team. Uh, at the end, we offer an um, um, analytical tracking tool report. So you see here, there's a weekly report that you can see which people attend to your uh, booths, uh, what did they click, where did they have been uh, looked for or watched for, what um, was uh, interesting for them, how long did they stay on your booths, and so on and so on. So it's fully transparent for you, and you can forward this information to your marketing team, for example, that they can use this information to improve your marketing for your products and services. And therefore, also important is, uh, through the whole time you can exchange or change content yeah so if a video you want to change no problem well, you will get an access yeah access point and therefore you can exchange its information directly from your side no, uh, it's really easy um, <clears throat> furthermore uh, if i go now back here from this advanced booth with all the content you see again the bird's eye view <coughs> with all the, the companies that are here if you have your own event, you can also use this room for another kind of information. Maybe you want to have a special spot on a um, specific topic or so. This could be also arranged in this exhibition. Yeah, So we are really flexible with this. Um, to the last stop we make today, here is now uh, the business meeting spot. Business meeting is also important or really important for networking. So we have arranged here an area <coughs> and you see now here uh, our application that we use for it, it's called Wanda. Yeah? And if we go now in Wanda, you will see there is a direct interaction. So now let's have a live uh, demo of Wanda, how does it work, and then we can, can continue. We take communication very serious on our Akamondo Hub. Contacting contributors like sponsors, exhibitors, poster owners, the organizer team, is straightforward. Simply email, chat, or video call them. What is with other participants, like guests or visitors of the hub, of running conferences, or your company internal event? How can they chat and communicate with each other? For this purpose, we integrated a secure and easy-to-use third-party app called Wander. You can enter Wander on our hub by simply going to our B2B meeting area. Here you put a name, allow your web browser temporary access to your webcam and your microphone, and voila, you are in our Wander area. Other visitors, as well as yourself, are shown by little circles and you see a list of all participants. You can establish contact by simply dragging and dropping your circle and touching the circle of another person. So, hi David, nice to see you. If you want you. to have a private conversation, for example for confidential talks, you can simply lock your conversation and nobody else is able to enter, nor hear or see you, unless you unlock and allow him to enter this conversation. The number of participants is not limited. Here is an example how we will use Wanda on our November conference weekend. We will establish separate rooms in accordance with the topic of the conference. Participants can listen to expert interviews and presentations and take part on the live podium discussion. Afterwards, we will meet together here in Wanda and our moderator will uh, introduce some lively discussion. Um, you can ask questions to the experts or you can even give presentations, your PowerPoint presentation, or share your screen. 
If you find a conversation or a business partner, you can simply separate from this group and start some private discussion. If you need translation support, we are there to help. So, so we have a, a distributed... Uh, okay, you saw this is really easy. Huh? Rwanda is a nice tool to communicate and I think it's also really easy to use for everybody here that uh, wants to make networking together. Um, yeah, this was now the trip around through our uh, uh, virtual hub. I hope you enjoyed it. Yeah. Uh, last thing outside, you see our cooling tower here presenting our sponsors, which we highlight at every spot where it's possible. And if you click here on our sponsors, then you can see there is a list. And if you click on the list, you directly go to the to the uh, sponsor booth or sponsor website depending on what, uh, what they want. And so they are highlighted again. So as you can see, this is really easy. It's our mission to support you. If you need further information, do not hesitate to contact us. Um, <clears throat> further information regarding the Deacon conference, you will find on our website, www.nukdecon.com. Here you can download the sponsored exhibit information, the poster session guideline, and further information regarding the event. Please follow also uh, on our social media channel, YouTube and LinkedIn, for example, where we now also start to uh, offer webinars with, with experts of the nuclear community and share information in respect to our mission. Yeah? So stay in contact and I wish you all the best and uh, much success in your mission. Bye-bye. Yeah?